Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to add Google AdSense in your project by using Next.js and environment variables. So right now on my screen, you can see I have opened my Google AdSense account. So on this screen, you have to click on the get code. This is my Next.js project that is currently using for uh, Next.js 14 version. So I will be using this one. This is just an empty project. So let me start this project first and pm run dev press enter and the project has been started now let's open it in our browser okay you can see that next.js project has been started now in the layout dot tsx so on this google adsense account if you click on the get code it will give you the script tag that you have to copy paste in your next.js project so just click on the copy button and it will give you the code so now go back to your vs code here in the lay main layout.tsx you can add it anywhere so i can add it here in the beginner beginning of the body tag like this but in the next js yes, this is not the recommended method you have to you should use the script component that is that is provided by the next slash script so make sure to import the script component uh, from the next slash script and now let's fix it as well so once that is done you have to fix this attribute as well so instead of this use the capital o for the cross origin and now this should be working fine so if you reload it and check the view source here you will find this tag so for example i would like to find this url copy this and search it you will see that this script has been added by the by the next js so now as we want to use the environment variable to put this id so let's do that for that uh, i will create the dot env file here and here i will define the variable public underscore as we need this code in the client side not in the server side so that's mean we need to have this environment variable in the public as well so for that you must have to prefix your environment variable with the public underscore and then you can give it whatever name so you can add google add sense client id and now let's copy it basically i will cut it from here and you can give it whatever name to this environment variable it's totally up to you okay now here we need to access that environment variable so for that and we will use the template literals and then i will add process dot env dot next underscore public underscore add sense client underscore id so this is the exactly same variable that we just created save it now if you reload it you will find that this is still there one thing uh, instead of just adding public here you have to add next underscore public also make sure that this uh, environment variable is same this was different that that's why it was not working so add it here so i will make sure that both of these variables are exactly same okay save it as well now let's reload it and this time you can see that the client id is added in the script tag now if you make any change in here you will notice that it will be reflected there in the layout so you can see that the client id from the environment variable has been added here so i think that's all what i wanted to show you in this video i hope that this video provided you some value so if you think that this was helpful then please don't forget to like and share this video and also please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos thanks for watching and see you in the next video